Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're looking at yet another pro football focus rankings list, and I will have this linked down in the pinned comment in the comment section below, but today, it is the top 32 starting quarterbacks going in to the upcoming 2021 season. In the last video, when we looked at a pro football focus rankings list, they had uh, their top 32 offensive tackles going in to the 2021 NFL season. Donovan Smith was not on on that list and Tristan Wirfs was actually all the way up at number six so yes Tom Brady is on this list yes you can probably read the title of the video and uh, come to a conclusion as to where he is on this list but um, we are going to go through the rest of this list and I'm gonna go ahead and give my thoughts and opinions on it because this was actually made in the middle of May but it's been coming up recently again in uh, analytic circles and whatnot so I thought that I would make a video about it and uh, give my analysis of it so let's get started here with number 32 we have Drew Locke of the Denver Broncos that one I think makes sense to me Drew Locke you know he still has a lot to prove as a quarterback Teddy Bridgewater is there as well there's a legitimate chance Teddy Bridgewater could beat out Drew Locke so we will uh, have to wait and see I'm not going to give deep analysis on all these and read the paragraphs and whatnot, but I will give some quick thoughts. Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles. I think that this guy's going to shoot up like a rocket whenever they do the uh, rankings for this next year. I think Jalen Hurts is that dude, and I think he's a pretty good quarterback. So uh, right now at 31, yeah, it makes sense, but uh, I think he will be higher up come next year's rankings list. Zach Wilson of the New York Jets at number 30. Meh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I'm a big Zach Wilson guy. Um, I still think he looks uh, kind of like uh, in, in a uh, Cindy Lou Who or something along those lines. But Zach Wilson of the New York Jets, I think he will be a talented young quarterback for that team. And overall, I think he will do a pretty decent job. Number 30 seems about right to me. To a T of the Miami Dolphins here at 29. That one's a little interesting. I would maybe have him a little bit higher, maybe say 25 something along those lines, but still, again, much like some of the guys I've said down here, I think he could have a pretty darn productive 2021 season. This is the first interesting one, Sam Darnold of the Carolina Panthers at number 28. Now, I would make a legitimate argument that Sam Darnold could be down here at number 31. Uh, you have Sam Darnold ahead of Tua T, Zach Wilson, and Jalen Hurts. That's, uh, that's tough for me. I mean, obviously, Adam Gase did not do him any favors with the New York Jets. We will see how he does with the Carolina Panthers. They obviously believe in his potential enough to uh, not draft a guy like Justin Fields in this most recent NFL draft. So the Panthers believe in him. Uh, we'll just see if he can finally tap into that potential. And I believe it's possible. He's got a lot of good weapons around him with Carolina. Um, it's just all of a matter of, uh, you know, how much was Sam damaged from that Adam Gase era? We're going to have to wait and see. Number 27, we have Cam Newton of the New England Patriots. Feels like that's a reasonable spot for him. I mean, he fell down a lot of people's boards uh, just in terms of quarterback play after this past season. I mean, the man did not have a good year. He didn't have any weapons. Uh, maybe this year will be different after they added a couple of guys uh, on that tight end room and in that wide receiver room. But Cam, man, he left a lot to be desired uh, from that last season. Not so much as a runner. He was still pretty good as a runner, but as a passer... It was tough scene. Number 26, we have Jared Goff of the Detroit Lions. I feel like 26 is a good spot for Jared Goff here. Um, I, I've always thought that Jared Goff's a pretty decent quarterback, but, you know, number 26, I feel like that's right just about where he should be. Maybe he'll go up a little bit, maybe say, like, 22 come next year's rankings list, but number 26, yeah, I, I think that's a pretty decent spot, but still pretty decent pocket passer. Number 25, we have Justin Fields of the Chicago Bears. So, number one, they're assuming that Justin Fields is probably going to be the day one starter, although it has come out that Andy Dalton has been told that he's been the day one starter. That's a whole mess. But, you know, I don't mind this ranking. I do like Justin Fields. I'm, I'm a big fan of his. I think that this dude really can be a special guy if he is cultivated the right way and put in the right offensive system. Matt Nagy's there in Chicago. They could do some damage together. We're going to have to wait and see. But, I mean, I'm trying to look here. Yeah, I mean, 25's not a bad spot. I mean, I might I might have put Jared Goff above him just because we haven't seen Justin Fields play yet. And we've seen Jared Goff put out some good football. So maybe I would have had Goff at 25, Fields at uh, 26 here. But that's a small nitpick. 24, we have Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill of the New Orleans Saints. Well, 
That's, uh, that's interesting. So they have both of them here, which is, I, I'm confused as to why they didn't do that for, you know, say Andy Dalton, uh, and the Chicago Bears, but it is what it is. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how these two play. I'm not going to give much analysis on that. Uh, it'll just be interesting to see what happens there. James Winston, former Bucks quarterback, Taysom Hill, just all around athlete. Uh, they could do some good things in New Orleans. We'll just have to wait and see how they perform. Moving on to number 23, we have Carson Wentz of the Indianapolis Colts. Pretty decent spot for him. I might have put him a little bit lower. Like, I probably would have put Goff above him. Um, I might even put, like, Jameis Winston slash Taysom Hill above him. But, yeah, I probably would have had him maybe at, like, 25, something like that. But overall, Carson Wentz, I think he can bounce back. Jimmy Garoppolo at number 22. Man, what a fall from grace. I mean, it's all injuries, right? Uh, this man just played in a Super Bowl a couple of years ago, but... Yeah, Garoppolo, he just can't stay healthy, and the best ability in the NFL is your availability, and point blank, Garoppolo has not been able to do that, so we'll see how he does this upcoming season. They do have Trey Lance. Trevor Lawrence of the Jacksonville Jaguars at number 21, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with, I'm fine with Trevor Lawrence at number 21, I mean, the dude's a, you know, supposed to be a generational draft talent, you know, consensus number one overall pick, I mean, it was basically a slam dunk, um, I think he could do some pretty good things right off the bat for the Jaguars with Urban Meyer, Daniel Jones at number 20, that's tough, man, I would have had Daniel Jones lower on this list, pretty decently. I would have had him in the mid 20s, not at number 20. So that's that's a tough scene there. Daniel Jones, he still has a lot of growth and a lot of improvement to make uh, for Danny Dimes in New York. Fitzpatrick, Ryan Fitzmagic at number 19 for the Washington football team. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd probably have him maybe the higher 20s in the high 20s. I probably wouldn't have him all the way up at 19. But it is what it is. You know, Pro Football, Pro, uh, football Focus has their uh, reasons for making these rankings. Fitz is a good quarterback, you know. He can be inconsistent at times, but overall, he's not, uh, you know, doing a bad job. I think he can be a productive guy for that Washington football team. I think he could even lead into the playoffs if everything goes right. So we'll have to wait and see. Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals, number 18, fine spot. Maybe I would have had him a little bit lower since we didn't see too much of him before he got hurt. But what we saw was pretty good. So Joe Burrow, meh, it's fine. Kyler Murray at number 17? I would have had Kyler Murray higher up on this list. I mean, that dude is an electric playmaker for the Arizona Cardinals. I don't think 17 is the right ranking. I probably would have had him higher. Big Ben Roethlisberger uh, at number 16. Nah, I mean, Big Ben is underrated in my opinion. I think he's still a pretty decent quarterback. Number 16, I probably would have had Kyler Murray above him personally. But uh, it is what it is, Big Ben at number 16. By the way, this list was made by Bruce Gradkowski, a former Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback, by the way. Justin Herbert at number 15. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not bad. I still would have had Kyler Murray probably above Justin Herbert, but Herbert had a phenomenal, phenomenal rookie season. I'd probably put him in, like, say, the top 17, 18. Uh, 15 is still all right, I guess. Kirk Cousins at number 14. People are probably going to disagree with that, but I mean, I like Kirk Cousins. I think he is a uh, underrated quarterback. I know some, a lot of people might say he's overrated, but you know, I think that he is still a very solid passer and he is a top half quarterback in this league. Uh, maybe wouldn't have had him at 14, might have had him maybe at like 16, 17, but still. Derek Carr of the Las Vegas Raiders at number 13, I would have had him lower on that list. Um, I, he's a good quarterback, but I wouldn't have had him all the way up at number 13. Ryan Tannehill at number 12, that's a fine spot for me. Tannehill is a good quarterback. I think he really is genuinely underrated. I think he will do some pretty good things for the Tennessee Titans, especially now that they got Julio Jones. I mean, look out. That, that offense is going to be scary. Stafford of the Los Angeles Rams, Matthew Stafford, that's a good spot. I have no problems with that. Baker Mayfield of the Cleveland Browns at number 10. I probably would have had Stafford above Baker Mayfield. I probably would have had Ryan Tannehill above Baker Mayfield, but... It is what it is. Matt Ryan of the Atlanta Falcons at number nine. Uh, I mean, Matt Ryan's got a lot of volume, right? He's still a pretty productive passer. I guess that's fine to have him in the top 10. He is a pretty darn good quarterback. Lamar Jackson, number eight, Baltimore Ravens. It's a fine spot. I probably would have had him maybe a little bit higher, but, you know, in the top 10 is fine. Dak Prescott at number seven, Dallas Cowboys. Now, I would have had Dak probably in the top 12, but... All the way up here at number seven. That is a bold move there. But, you know, he's got that really big contract. He does play some pretty good football. I wouldn't mind 
having Dak Prescott on a lot of teams in the league. So having him at number seven, I mean, I probably would have had him maybe at like, you know, 10 to 12 range, but you know, seven, he's still up there. Josh Allen, number six, Buffalo Bills. That's pretty good. Deshaun Watson, the Houston Texans at number five. Oh, man, at this point, man, I might... No, I mean, Deshaun Watson at number five. That's a pretty good ranking for him, in my opinion. You know, when Deshaun Watson's playing and, you know, he, he can do some insane stuff with the football. It just all depends if he ends up playing here for this upcoming 2021 season. Russell Wilson, number four, Seattle Seahawks. That's a good ranking, in my opinion. Rodgers, uh, Green Bay Packers at number three. Going to be interested to see where he goes. And then here's where it gets interesting. Tom Brady at number two, Patrick Mahomes at number one. Let's read the Brady paragraph. Brady capped an incredible 2020 season with his seventh Super Bowl win, and his overall performance was the catalyst for elevating the Bucks to their second championship and franchise history. Not only did he accomplish that after changing teams, but he endured a reduced offseason while having to learn a whole new offense, which makes it that much more remarkable. He ranked second in passing yards on 20 plus uh, yard throws during the regular season while taking care of the ball better than any Bruce Arians quarterback since 2006. Pretty accurate. Not to mention Tampa Bay's re-signed every significant player. Uh, will be much more familiar and comfortable with the passing attack um, with even more uh, supporting cast continuity from last year. Yeah, I mean, Mahomes versus Brady here. I mean, you, you, I feel like you could have either Brady or Mahomes at number one and it really wouldn't be surprising. I mean, honestly, I think they're tied in my opinion because Brady is just Brady. He's phenomenal. He's just filthy. But Mahomes is also filthy. I know he didn't, you know, win that Super Bowl. And I know the scoreboard said one thing, but Mahomes went crazy with pressure in his face all day. I mean, he made some just absolutely ridiculous throws that I've never seen a quarterback make before in my entire life. So with that being said, I probably would just, I would I probably would have just bit the bullet and had both these guys as 1A and 1B, just have them tie for number one because they're both just, you know, freaking crazy. They go crazy every year and uh, I probably would have just had them tie and, you know, done it like that so it is what it is but overall you know there were some questionable stuff here say in like uh certain points of this list but i think they got the top two um you know right whichever way you want to say it be it tom brady number one mahomes number one i think both those guys should at least be the top two uh, you could make an argument for rogers but it is what it is um but man you know some of this stuff was weird on this list but overall meh it is what it is. So, what do you guys think about this list? Tom Brady, the second quarterback ranked here going into the upcoming 2021 season. Do you guys agree or disagree? Mahomes number one. I mean, that's tough, man. That's tough. So, let me hear your guys' thoughts about all this down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.